Hello and welcome again. This is Monique. Thank you for checking me out uh, and uh, always stay put to watch my videos, like the button and share for people to also see what we're doing here. It's amazing to have you, uh, you know, get glued to this set all the time. We're talking forgiveness today. F-O-R-G-I-V-E-N-E-S-S. -E -S. It's a very huge word, but it's something that we all go through at some point in time. Do you forgive often? Do people forgive you for the wrongs you've done them? It's a big issue we're talking today. So if you're interested, please stay put and uh, let's get into this topic. The question you need to ask yourself is how, how, how difficult is it to forgive? What, what do people do to you that makes you think that um, you are so hurt to the extent that you can't forgive? Um, we are all hurt at some point in time, even with our parents sometimes for decisions they make on behalf of us, um, in our relationships, in our working environment, the choices we make, the things we do in a sense in life. Sometimes we, we look back and we go like, I shouldn't have done this. That shouldn't have happened to me. Um, it wasn't right for me to have done that. And I need to make amends. All these things come up, you know, as you move on in life. But we're talking about you wanting to move on to the next stage of life. You can't move when you are heavy. You can't move to the next level when you are so carried away. You need to understand that life is in phases. You wrong people, people wrong you. You are not perfect. You are not a preserve for perfection. We all make mistakes. We all make mistakes until when you think or realize that you have offended someone, it is just right to go on, approach the person, and then ask for forgiveness. The person might take it, the person might leave it. But the honorable thing to do is to realize that's the first stage, and then you move on to going to seek forgiveness from this person. So I'm going to talk about three stages of um, going through this process and seeing how important it is to ask for forgiveness when you offend someone. The first one is you understanding the fact that you erred, um, you knowing very well that you made a mistake, you committed a blunder and accepting it, you know, from within that you shouldn't have done that. So you need to accept and then forgive yourself first. For instance, if you if you're a friend or if you're in a community or you are in love with someone or you are in marriage, you know, and things go south, things do not go well, things do not go the way you expect it. And it's your fault. It's coming from your end. You made this happen. You made this 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 wrong thing, you know, come in between you two. You need to analyze the situation and know that, well, this is my fault totally. And I have to take responsibility. I have to understand the fact that I made this happen and I caused this mess. So I need to own up and then accept it and then forgive myself first for allowing this to happen to me or to happen to the next person or allowing things to go this way kind of sketchy me owning up and then accepting or taking responsibility is the first step into seeking for forgiveness because you wouldn't want a situation where you go and ask forgiveness of sins or forgiveness of whatever you have done or committed and then you're so proud about it you have this um, funny character you have this um moments within you you think that you're just doing it for doing sake because sorry is just sorry yeah sorry is a sorry word but you need to understand that what you did or what came out of you has affected somebody else and it takes time for people to process these things so if you're going to say sorry you need to understand the essence of the word you're going to use because you wouldn't want that to happen to you and it's not like going and saying oh me yeah, sorry or oh, i'm sorry for this for that it sometimes it depends on the gravity of the situation but in all situations when you're sorry you need to be sorry about it so first off you need to own up accept and then prove that you're really sorry about this whole situation and it is your fault you are taking responsibility of it second thing you'd want to do is um you know approach the person Sometimes it's very difficult approaching the people that you offend uh, because of the gravity of the issue. For some, it's very huge that you don't even have to go alone. You have to go with elders or go with people or go with, uh, you know, certain 
class of people just to seek forgiveness from this person or from this group of people that you have offended so first off accepting and owning up that uh, you, you made this mess yourself and then two approaching the person now this is where the problem is the second stage when you're approaching there are so many ways of doing this like i mentioned early on um if it's grave and the person does not want to see you you need to speak through somebody to the person or you need to man up be bold and approach the person because you are sorry for whatever you have done come with me you need to let this person understand that i did this and i'm so sorry about it let the person understand the fact that this shit has happened and you are taking responsibility of it it might take days it might take weeks it might take months you don't determine when the person be at peace with you because you have asked for forgiveness of sins or forgiveness of whatever you've committed to the person whatever you have done against this person or this group of people all you can do in your space is to create an environment that will make the person feel at peace and welcoming enough to want to listen to you or to want to give you ears to whatever you have to say it could be through texting it could be through phone calling it could be through going there in person it could be through writing it could be through so many means okay but i don't know the problem that you're in but whatever situation you find yourself in you need to understand the situation and then deal with the situation as it is don't be too pompous don't be too proud when you're asking for forgiveness there's one thing that would turn the person off because i mean then what is the essence of you saying sorry if you're sorry about whatever you have committed then it means that we need to see we need to feel we need to understand the level of your your your, your being sorry or being soulful about this whole situation so move to the person and then tell the person that jack a b c d e f g h this and this and this and that is what i did and upon reflection, I realized that I made a mistake. I goofed big time. Everything happening now is, is my fault. And uh, I would like you in your own space and zone, um, give me a space to apologize to you on all the things that I have done. And um, just get back together so that we can all live in peace and in harmony. You have done your part. If you tell the person this alone, or what people around you to go ask for forgiveness you have done your part now the rest is on the third person or the person in question to either accept your apology or not accept your apology but you have done an honorable thing by going out there to apologize for the wrongs that you have done this person like i said it can take days it can take weeks it can take months because people process situations differently people handle situations differently maybe you are the type that would say okay it's fine let's just move on or you're the type that will say i need some time to process to go through this healing it's okay so you don't put pressure or you don't mount pressure on the person to forgive you because you have said that you're sorry about it for some it takes days it takes weeks some it takes months all you can do is to pray if you believe in prayers pray that God touches this person's heart and then accept your apology so you can get back together. It can happen at the working environment. It can happen between you and your boss, you and your wife, you and your girlfriend, you and your boyfriend, you and your best friend, you and an acquaintance, you and anybody at all. It could be anybody, anybody that you feel genuinely you have to apologize to. You have to do that. First, owning up. Second, approaching the person and then asking for forgiveness. You need to be genuine and intentional about this whole situation. That's what a situation where um, a friend came to me and says that I've apologized several times. I've said all that I have to say, blah, 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 blah. And she's not really understanding or coming to terms with me or he's not coming to terms with me. I've done this over and over again. Who does he think he is or who does she think he is? No, never say that. But who does he think he is or who does she think she is if you think the person of sweatless why then do you take the pain to go apologize we're humans we have ego sometimes and sometimes when things happen to us we go through a lot we go through a lot a whole lot we think a lot of our situations so never say that who does he think or who does she think she is it's very very painful to hear such words 
coming from somebody who has offended someone and thinks that because I am coming to say I'm sorry, things should just change like that. No. People need time to process. People need time to go through things that have happened to them. So the honorable thing that you can do is to give time time because it takes time to heal. It takes time to heal. You need to understand that. So don't take the bull by the horn and then go haywire on this person. You don't have to do that. Own up, like I said before, approach the person and then let the person understand the situation and apologize to this person. The third thing you'd want to do is to give time, time. Give time, time. Don't force it. Don't force your apology. Give time, time. After doing the first two, the third thing you'd want to do is to wait patiently and then uh, accept a response from this person and that is by giving time time do not force your apology once you are done with apologizing to the person let the person go through whatever he or she is going through let her process the situation let him process the situation and then revert come back to you and say that i've heard you and i have accepted your apology and in those moments you can be intermittently once a while checking up on this person or sending breathtaking conversations or things that would excite this person not to you know make him overly excited but just in between time push things softly push things slowly um let the person see that you're really sorry about the things that you did and feel that this apology is really real and deep and genuine you get it don't leave things lying like that don't think that you've apologized and so i mean come with me whatever whatever you're okay with it and you're, you're good to go no please make sure that after apologizing you give time time and in between time you're trying to take up on the person just to make the person feel good and feel okay and also know that um once the person is grieving you you should be the support system of this person but don't leave the situation or the environment all of a sudden and think that yeah you've apologized and so everything is okay you don't have to do that because if this thing should be done to you i tell you you might even take it worse or you might do extra things that we don't even expect you to do so it's okay like that people deal with situations differently because we are different people i am a kweku you might be ama ac or uh, kwesi or rabina or whoever we take things differently we process things differently so that's about it it's okay to forgive it's okay to forgive and it's okay to also ask for forgiveness because we're humans and as we go in and come out we step on people's toes but once you realize that you need to do these three things accept that you made this mess approach the person and then give time time and let's see how it goes thanks for checking me out let's stay glued together we'll be back in the next episode share let people see what we're doing here thank you very much